the last video, I've shown you the SQL function JSON data guide, which samples rows from a table to retrieve a schema summary of the JSON data. Obviously, sampling thousands or millions of rows is quite expensive. So I show you another way of getting the data guide information, and that is as part of the JSON search index. So for this demo, we again create a simple table and insert some JSON data. In this case, it's 100,000 reviews from the Yelp data set. If we select this, we see that each of these rows looks quite similar. We have a bunch of key value pairs like name, which is, for example, the name of a restaurant or of another business. If we create the JSON search index, we can give it an option to enable the data guide. Every new document, every new JSON that gets inserted or if an existing one gets updated, the search index will scan it to see if the schema has changed. For example, if a new field occurs or if a data type of a field has changed. If we query this view user JSON data guides, we see that a data guide is available on the table called demo tab and in the column JSON data, this is the table we've just created. And this is the data guide here. So we are, we're seeing the familiar fields, the array, and then the objects, which tells us there is a city field, which is a string and a length. Um, I refer you to the last video to go a bit into these details. So now if I insert a new JSON into the database, this one has a field now which has not occurred. And if I commit this change, the JSON search index uh, syncs on commit, then the data guide should reflect the change. So now if I query again the view, we see that the XYZ has been added. We can also retrieve the data guide in a hierarchical format, which is basically the JSON schema format. So let's take a look at this. So we see that this is a slightly different representation of basically the same information. We see that XYZ is of type Boolean and um, the length is four. And this is some field we're gonna see later what this is used for. So I can use this to validate my data. This is a, a schema validator and I can say, I have an object I wanna validate, it's X, Y, Z, and let's say I give it the number one, then I see an error message here. This is an invalid type. It expects it to be a Boolean. So if I make it a Boolean, we see that um, the instance document here is valid with this schema here. So what this allows you is to create a JSON schema from the documents you have and use this to validate it if you have a schema validator. Another feature we built is to use the data guide to automatically create a view. Since the data guide contains the path to the fields and their data type, it's relatively easy to create a view definition for it. So this happens if we execute this uh, package function dbms json create view on path. We give it some parameters, which is the table and the column name. If we describe this view, we see that all the fields that occurred in the JSON have been projected out as view columns. And the name or the column name has been derived from the field name in the JSON. So if we select from this view, we see the data from the JSON instances now as plain relational rows and columns. This also allows us to query this data with plain SQL operations. So for example, if we want to find the name of businesses in the city of Toronto and order them by the best reviews, then we would run this query, which gives us the result. Somewhat similar to creating a view is to augment the existing table, the table with adjacent data, with virtual columns. So if we describe our demo table, then it basically only has two columns, the ID column and the JSON data column. The PLSQL function add virtual columns will take a look at the data guide on our JSON and for every flat field, meaning for every scalar top level field, it will create a virtual column definition and alter the table to reflect that. So if I describe the table after this operations, I will see plenty more columns, which I can directly query as well. So if I want to find all the vegan places in Toronto, I can issue the query straight against the demo table. And the predicates here are using the virtual columns, which under the cover will run against the JSON. So these 
virtual columns are not persisted and it seems there's only one vgen place in toronto thank you for watching